we're told D equals 0 0.43 T7. And we're told if T denotes the thousandth digit in the decimal representation of D above, what digit is T? Well, statement number one tells us that if we round this off to the hundredths place, we get 0.44. That doesn't really help us because that would just tell us that t is 5 or greater. We could have 4357, 4387, 4397. All of these would round off to 0.44. And so by itself, statement number one does not allow us to determine a unique value for t. So statement number one is insufficient. Moving on to statement number two. We round off to the thousandth digit, we get 0.436. Well, we see that the place after the thousandth digit is this 7. And so the only way, since we'll be rounding up from that 7, the only way that we'll wind up with a 6 in that space is if we have a 5 there. So this piece of information allows us to uniquely determine that t equals 5. So this statement is, a, is perfectly sufficient for answering the question. Statement number one, insufficient. Statement number two, sufficient. Answer choice, B.